Hey yo, what is up everybody? I am DCSK. Thanks for checking out my video. In this video, I'm going to show you another ultimate guide to farm the Flame of the Nether DLC new weapon in Instant Hunt. It is the Gilded Bone Cudgel, also the Gilded Variants of the Twisting Wine Bow, Bone Club, and Pickling Armor. There are more guides on Gilded item at description, right down there. Make sure to check that out. Oh, by the way, if you enjoy my content, don't forget to support me by subscribing the channel. It just takes you a few seconds to do it and it is free. Your support is highly much appreciated. I also just started a Discord community. If you are looking for friends to play with or looking for some cool unique items to trade or hang in there to have a chit chat with people, make friends, everyone is welcome in. If you are in there, hit me up guys. The link is at down there at the description. Alright, let's get back to the topic. The first thing you need to know is which rune to summon the instant mob that have a chance to drop this gilded item. You need 2a and plus rune to summon the instant unending. Now you can start to farm the item that assigned with this rune. Just farm rare or common item is enough. You don't need to farm unique item for this rune. If the drop rate is much lower and it takes more time to farm it. There are many items that assigned with this rune. I have filtered it which and where so you can find it much more easier and faster. Now here's the table. This table contains all the information you need, which item and where you can farm it. Also which rune you can't use in the combination. You can see it at the back of the table. Those runes can't be used in the offering due to the rune combination will summon another or more instant mob and it will lower down your chance to farm the gilded item that you want. And you just need 3 items to summon the instant unending. You can farm this item at any map you like listed in the table. But the best map to farm is Cacti Canyon and Obsidian Pinnacle. Cacti Canyon drops Spell Lanker Armor for A rune, 5 types of ranged weapon with 3 and T rune you can use for 9 point run. After finish the map, it has a chance to reward you with any of these 3 artifacts that comes with another A rune. You need 2 A rune in the combination. After that, head to Obsidian Pinnacle, this map drop clay more and great hammer for plus rune. Also have a chance to reward you a wonderful weed artifact with a rune after finish the map. Just keep on farming at these two map repeatedly then you can get everything you need to summon the instant unending. It doesn't matter if you cannot get any of the ranged weapon on your run as long as you get the required rune, 6 point is good enough for a quick run. So to farm all these items faster, choose the difficulty that you can one shot with your ranged weapon. If you're unsure, then just select the easiest difficulty. If your power level is at 250, then Apocalypse plus 10 is a good choice. Then equip armor and artifact that increase movement speed, melee weapon with prospectus enchantment. It is not necessary to have this, if you're having it is a bonus, so you can earn some emerald while farming item. And hub bow, if you don't have hub bow, Lightning Hub or Skater Crossbow will do. With Hub Crossbow, you can kill much faster. You can also buy this item from Merchant, check it out from time to time, and restock if you have some Emerald. If you see the specific item you want, just buy from them. It will save you a lot of time and don't restock too many times, it will cost you a lot unless you are rich. If you want to earn a lot of Emerald and experience, you can check out my video, it is right up here or down there at the description. Make sure to check that out, it can help you to get rich and earn a lot of experience just by standing. Alright, once you have everything, equip the best gear you have then you can start the hunt now. I recommend you to go with 6 points is good enough. If you wish to go with 9 maximum points for even higher chance, yes you can do that. As for the difficulty, select based on your gear capability and of course, the higher difficulty, the better item power level drop. In the hunt, just look for the purple glowing door and beat the instant unending. It is very easy boss but you will need to be very careful as the boss is protected by a group of enchanted with the skeleton archer, it fires black color arrow that inflict the wither effect. It is very painful so it is better to have potion bearer with you. You can also one shot instant kill the boss by using Torment Quiver. Equip an item that can add soul. For me, I use soul bow with dynamo and chairman. And make sure to gather some soul before you enter the boss arena. Charge up at least 2 stack of dynamo. Active Torment Quiver, then charge shoot to finish the boss. Ta da! And here's your gilded item. Pick it up and to the next door. And every time you finish the instant hunt, it will refresh the picking merchant stock. So make sure to check out the Big Green Merchant for new stock of Gilded item. 
it might have something that you are looking for. If you see the guild item that you want, just buy from him. Alright guys, I hope this ultimate guide can help you to farm gilded bone cudgel and other gilded gears much faster. If you have any question or suggestion, please leave a comment below. I hope you enjoy and find some useful info in this video. I will be making more Minecraft dungeon videos, so don't forget to support me by hitting the like and subscribe button. It is free. So happy hunting. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.